to the second tutorial um, for the Anatonium and Editor version 4.15. We are doing custom events on this one between different blueprints and how to trigger them. So let's start from the basic. I have a desert map, you can see it here. Um, we start with um, something I just want to show you, the map. You can see I have nothing here. It's a simple desert map. And we make a new game mode. Let's just make it a uh, DM game mode. Oh, let's make it a team game mode. So we have a trip to know. can make it an objective. And an uh, LMS game mode like in the other video tutorials I call it <coughs> and we can select this here and you can see <coughs> this is how it looks now <coughs> we want to do something here on different blueprint. Let's make a new blueprint. We make it like a robot now. Um, we are calling this, um, I don't know, robot, actor. We are opening this. takes a while because it's a new blueprint and there it is so this is how our lo robot looks nothing major but we're adding a sphere collision so we know when it is overlapping make this the root and then we add a simple sphere And the sphere should be smaller than the collision because the collision should test if we touch it. So let's make this half. Now it is inside the collision as you can see. You can just add any textures you want. I don't know. Afro. Okay. Compile. We just drag it in. And there's our robot. Very small. Doing nothing. Now the robot. It should rotate. Let's make it rotate. We can just type in rotate, what fits to rotate, nothing, maybe rotation, add actor rotation, add relative rotation, set, if you set something you are changing it basically. And this needs to be every frame because if we do this once, it will rotate once, but we want to rotate it every frame so we can see it moving. And so everyone can see it moving. We need to replicate the moving parts from the server to the client. We're just setting it up right now. It is not rotating. We 
just sad. Maybe we can rotate the sphere. Let's try. Set. or add word rotation. We can try this. Maybe this works. Now we can see it is rotating. Now we have a robot that is rotating basically. But we want to trigger this with a custom event. Now let's make a custom event. This is an event you can trigger yourself. You can call it yourself as you want. You can call it robot moving. And it has different options. You can see you can run it on the server so everyone see it on the server. You can run it on your on the client so only the PC user can see it this one you want to run for example if you change um, the HUD or if you change the controls you only want this to happen on the PC of the person and this one you want to run for everyone on the server and this one will trigger twice for the server and the client. Now we want the robot to rotate on the server for everyone. And I think we have to loop it. maybe it doesn't work but we can make a variable now because we have to do this every tick this is important that we do it every tick you can see the difference if I make it begin play and I delete this it will rotate once and we see not a lot If we do this every frame, it will rotate every frame. Now, to trigger this, we can make a variable. We can call this um, Is the robot allowed to rotate? Question mark. We can ask this in a branch if the robot is allowed to rotate it can rotate you can see as default it is false so the robot is not allowed but when we trigger the robot moving event to true it will move So, how do we trigger the robot moving event? We can do this, let's do it in the game mode. Let's start, you can see it is not moving, nothing allows the robot to move. We can go to the game mode and we could use begin play. Now you have to know begin play in the game mode only works if you use the standalone uh, preview. It does not work um, if you use the PIE, the new window preview. What does work in the PIE is initiate start spot. 
I don't know why, but um, that's how it is. You should um, do this as debugging, basically, and this is your base um, foundation then later. But we will do this in another video. We start with this one now, and then you can do get all actors of class. This is basically how you get any blueprint you want of anywhere. Well, not blueprint, how we call it, robot. And I think it's called robot actor. Yeah, it is robot actor. And then we type in get. Now we have only one robot. If we have two robots, we can select the second robot. If we have three robots, we can select the third robot. Uh, but we only have one, so we select the one robot, we drag it off, and then we type in get. No, we type in robot moving. There it is. Robot moving. Compile. And you can double click on robot moving, and it is opening your robot, and it will set it to allowed. So, what we did is um, when the game starts, it is calling the robot moving our custom event on the server and on the server it will allow the robot to move and our robot is moving and is asking every frame am I allowed to move? If this is true, it can move. Now as you can see it is not working. Now we have to de debugging. Debugging is basically made with print string. Print string, this is the usual way to m try it what works and what does not work. You can say just a word, it works, print to the screen, print to the log, and how long it gets printed. Now you can copy this and we start it here. Does it work if we call this starting event? Yes, it works. You can see that on top left works. So we can delete this, connect it. This one works. We are going to robot moving and we are asking if this is working. can see this is working on the top left so that's fine and this should be the problem now let's see maybe we need to replicate it so it goes from the server to the client and the client knows then oh it is allowed to moving <coughs> let's see if this helps oh this helps now that is server client issues. You will meet them very often if you program game mode for online gaming and there are the most issues. Yeah. We could also do run on owning client so it only works on our PC and not on other PCs. And you can see it works for us, but maybe not for other ones. Now you can test this. You can go to uh, project settings and then you can go to <coughs> maybe not project settings. Yeah, play. You go to play on the other preferences. And we can, we say we want our window a bit smaller. I don't know what's common window size. Um, 
let's do 800 to 600 let's see how it looks you can see it's a lot smaller and for online gaming you should do run dedicated server and then you should always test it on new editor window which is very quick and for the last build you want to do you test it on standalone game this is basically offline gaming this is quite of online gaming you can say and now we can do two players and test it with two windows now you see on this window it is working on the other window you can see the other player and it is working our characters are moving a bit strange because we have the default pawn it's not nice let's change it to default character Now let's see what we if what happens if we not replicate it. It doesn't work for this one. And it doesn't work for this one. Let's replicate it and let's do a multicast so it happens twice on the server and on all clients. Now it works. Yeah, this is basically how you do custom events between blueprints. Now I showed you how to do a custom event making in an actor, calling it um, from the game mode. That's basically how you do break program. And in another video I will show you how to make a custom game mode and uh, how to start with the custom game mode.